In recognition of World Rivers Day here in the Blackstone River Valley, we are celebrating the organizations and people who are committed to the stewardship of rivers in the Blackstone River watershed. Hello, here we are at Lawson Woods up in Attleboro, in the city of Attleboro. We just got done doing an electro fishing survey here. I am Keith Gonsalves from the Ten Mile River Watershed Council, and this is. So I'm Sarah Canyol, and I'm with the Winnesquatucket River Watershed Council. We've been working together to conduct electro fishing assessments for the past five years. For those of you that don't know what electro fishing is, is we have a large backpack. You kind of look like you're on Ghostbusters when you put it on. We have a large backpack that administers a small electromagnetic current into the water, and that current actually impacts the fish that live in the water. So it administers a little bit of a shock, sort of like if I went like this and I shocked my friend Naya here. Um, it's very light. We monitor the voltage to make sure that it's not too strong. Um, and what happens is it just temporarily stuns the fish and confuses them. So what happens is their nervous system gets disrupted. And so when that nervous system gets disrupted, they flip over for just a few seconds, which gives us just enough time to them and put them in our collecting bucket. So then once the fish are collected, we have an on land crew who identify all of the fish that live in the river. And what do you do with the information once you get it? Um, we submit the, um, our findings to the DEM. Yep, yep. So we've been doing this in conjunction with Rhode Island DEM uh, since we started. They keep all of our information so we know what fish we're continuing to see, what trends of fish there are, um, so we can keep track and make sure we're keeping a healthy habitat. Hi, we're Jim and Maggie Plaus from the Blackstone River Watershed Association. We've been doing water quality monitoring for how many years? 17. 17 years this coming this year. And we come here once a month between April and November. And we, and we uh, measure, we take water samples and we also test the water for the oxygen level and the temperature and for oxygen saturation. And then the samples also go back to the lab uh, to be analyzed for turbidity, which is the sediment and suspended in the water, and for uh, the phosphates and nitrates that are in the water, which can cause, cause uh, algae growth in, in the river. This is the spot here is on the Blackstone River, right off of Main Street, behind the uh, TKL Pizza Plaza, and it's, it looks like a piece of uh, wilderness out here, but even though it's in the middle of the town. <laughs> 
Hi, I'm Tracy. I am a volunteer with the Blackstone River Coalition. I test the water uh, once a month. Um, it allows me to get down on the river once a month. Uh, I am also a teacher at Woonsocket High School. Uh, I raise uh, Atlantic salmon and brook trout with Rhode Island DEM in my classroom. Um, so I think it's really important to keep track of what the Blackstone River is doing. And uh, this allows me to do that. I get to be a community scientist. I'd like to talk about one specific event, spectacular event, that took place 20 years ago called Expedition 2000, which was a four-day uh, paddling trip down the Blackstone. 30 of us core paddlers did this with a lot of support from the Heritage Quarter, but we started just upriver from here. We're in the Blackstone Gateway Park in Worcester, and what you see behind me is the Middle River. So about half a mile upstream is where we began our four-day paddle. And we camped along the river, had um, fire, fireside um, town meetings in the evenings. We had events throughout the day to really bring attention to the river and to learn from folks what issues they felt the river was facing and what they thought that the river was so wonderful for and about. But what it did, it showed us how much love there is for this river. And through that, we realized the energy that was within the valley and so we created the Black, Blackstone River Coalition. And the coalition has worked with many others and with other local watershed groups to um, work on water quality issues in particular. And we created the campaign for a fishable, swimmable Blackstone River. But what this has done, it has helped us and many others understand what a watershed is. A watershed is a natural system. It's the uh, land area that drains various water bodies and waterways. So the Blackstone River watershed is vast. It encompasses maybe, I think, 30 communities. The Heritage Corridor is, has 25 communities in it, but uh, the watershed dissolves the state boundaries and the town boundaries. So it, it just helps folks understand that the river knows no boundaries. And so it's a good lesson for all of us <laughs> to help um, work together.